uh, let's let's bring our next guest, you guys. Sound yeah. good? Yeah, you guys excited? Yeah, she is the defender for the Portland Thorns, our professional women's soccer team here in Portland. Please welcome out Kat Williamson. <laughs> Consecutive year? Yes. Uh, so, so tell us, so you, you started when the team started up three years ago? I did. Give us your, give us your backstory. How did that happen? Uh, well, I got drafted um, 2013 from the University of Florida and played the first year with Portland Thorns, and we were lucky enough to win the national championship that year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, yes. And then I, I got traded. Um, to Western New York, who we play on Saturday. Um, and so I played with them last year, and then I just got traded back for this season. How? Look, yeah, look, so glad to have you back. That game on Saturday is going to be like the last scene in a league of their own. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. Does your sister play for that team, too? Is no, there a crying no, in soccer? No, she doesn't. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, so so that trading thing, I, I've never been a professional athlete, is that like a great day or is that? It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I mean, it was probably great when you got to come back to Yeah, Florida. oh, it was, it was awesome. I was, I was so happy. Um, you know, granted, I had a great time in New York, but there's no place like Portland, especially for the soccer. Well, there is it for the soccer. I, uh, the, the average attendance in the rest of this league is 4,000 people per game. The average attendance in Portland is 14,000 people yeah. for every game. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible great. how much how much we get behind uh, so awesome. And does that, that's got to make a huge, and people talk about home field advantage anyway, but that's got to make a huge difference when it's four times the size. Oh, for sure. Um, it, it's amazing. And the support that we get um, from the fans and, and everything, I mean, the home opener last weekend was was amazing, and, and there were so many people there. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, dude, when you go to other places, does it feel like... Uh, uh, nobody likes you guys. I feel like yeah. that. I'm like, oh wow, there's not as many people here as, as I'm used to. Your fans don't know any songs. See what's wrong with them? I can't even hear them. <laughs> no, it, it, I mean, it's just it's part of it right now. We're trying to grow, but Portland is setting an amazing example, and it, it's. Awesome. What do you think it is about why this is connected so well here? Um, I mean, I don't know. It's just Soccer City USA. Yeah. People, people love it, and uh, we're very, very fortunate. Very fortunate. And what's your relationship like with the fans? I know they do some pretty, uh, like the TIFO was just oh, yeah. massive. They do these incredible, uh, like three-story tall paintings yeah. that they unveil in the front. Like they do so much. But like, how how much do you interact with them? I know there's fourteen thousand people. Obviously, it's not super personal, but like. Right. I mean, I think there's a few of them that we actually do know and and interact with, and I mean, we're obviously so grateful for that. I know right. my rookie season, they did a superhero picture, and it had all of our. Um, they painted us on there, and we're flying and, and saving the world. And I'm like, I mean, that's just it's not normal. And if I'm not a team. <laughs> But I'm not so in the nicest way, like, yeah, you guys are not normal. Not That's fair. weird. Yeah. But nicely. But awesome. <laughs> are you so? Also, uh, one of the good things is you get the World Cup coming up. So this your the whole league. It's like everybody got red cards all of a sudden. There's gonna yeah. be all these players missing. Is that gonna be weird for you guys? Um, I mean, it, it'll be a nice break. Actually, you know, we get we get a little bit of a break in there for the, all of the games, and and I think it's great that. People are going to support our, our women's team, and, and we definitely will be, and we'll be watching them, and go USA. Yeah. Um, even though, you know, we've got some girls, a, a German girl, English, Canadian, so. Oh, so you're, might get a little weird in the locker room. One you're of them losing play. people from the Thorns to go play for a rival yes. international team. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be weird. Yeah. It's going to be like the last scene of the game. Exactly. I know a lot about sports, Kat, um, so yeah, that's why they're right there. there. So one thing also about this league, though, because you said it's a growing league, it's it's fairly new. Um, the uh, not everybody is able to be full time playing for the team. Do you have to also keep a day job, or are you able to just play soccer? Um, well, during our season, some girls choose to maybe have a side job, but um, the majority of us purely focus on soccer during season. Yeah. Um, off season, though, yeah. um, a lot of us take different jobs or play overseas. Do you play overseas? Do you, um, do you play I, I played in Canada before, but no, I, I have not 
displayed last year. So is that does that have having to do that? You know, does that give you that feel like the, the artists maybe in this room might understand, where you're like, I like I want this to be the only thing I do year round, and like this is my favorite thing, but I like still have to fill out taxes for my other job. Yeah, I mean, it it, it definitely we're fortunate um, enough to to be a pro athlete, and yeah. I think. Especially during the off season, you miss it, and which is why it, it just makes the next six months so so special to us. That would be, I mean, it would be so weird if you had like like your co your kid and your coach like disappears for six months to be a professional athlete. That would be amazing. Yeah, no, and in some of that, I mean, it, we have a lot of girls that coach in the off time, and so um, their girls come to our games. That's so just more fans. We like that. Yeah. That's really yeah, great. So, so what do you? So, giving this, what besides learning songs, which I'm, uh, I'm a little behind on. What else do we do to go be better fans of this team? Like, what do you, what? How do you encourage somebody? Like, we're getting getting into it or something like that. How do you tell people to go watch this game? I mean, just you know, come out to a game, see if you like it. I'd like to think that we're pretty entertaining. Um, and you, you definitely are. I would, I would describe the team as scrappy. You very like. You would yes. yeah. Yeah, I would. I would it, actually. Like sometimes with other with the with some other professional soccer that I've seen, uh, they especially like British teams, they play kind of like they're too cool for soccer. And you guys play like it's like this is really important to me right now. Yes. And yeah. I like it's so so entertaining. Yeah, I mean, and I, hopefully uh, the fans feel the same way. But I, I'd like to say like you know this weekend, uh, come it, check us out. Come watch watch you play your old rivals. West yes. New York. It, it'll be good. It'll be good. West of New York. Western New York Flash. Yes, yeah, so you're playing this Saturday, uh, four o'clock, mm -hmm. I believe here, Correct. and you play at Providence Park. Yes, it's Providence Park. That's the new one. Yeah. Yep. Right. Same they, 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 the yeah, but it used to be it used to be called Glass or something. It was the Glass uh, Company. Jeldwin. It was Jeldwin, and yes. that was Providence, right? Mm -hmm. I like that better. It sounds like a real park name. Jeldwin sounds like. Has a good ring to it. It does. Uh, and what are we like? What are we watching for? Like, so you're you're as a defender. So right. you're mostly active when shit's going wrong. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> so so is, it, is it hard for like for you, like when your when your family watches you or your friends come to root for you that they're like I hope you don't get involved. Uh, yes, basically. I mean, my coach says as long as I'm not touching the ball, we're doing well. So oh, did you get an assist last week? Yes, is but that's because I'm going up on corner kicks. So I'm, I'm, was that great though? Do you not yeah. do that very often? Oh well, I mean, as much as we attack, then hopefully I, I am up there. But. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. I yeah. mean, I, I love it. I love getting up there and yeah. helping in any way I can. But so, so we should go. We should go on Saturday and we should root for you to never touch the ball. Yes, basically. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're rooting for. And learn the songs. Please. <laughs> Do you know any of the songs? Do you know all the songs? I mean, I I'm honestly, make I black totally... out when I'm on the field. So I, I, I hear it, but like I don't at the same time. You that black out when you're on the field? Yeah. I mean, I'm just so focused on the game that I'm right. Really so that all of those fifteen thousand fans that came to support you with all that stuff, it's just nice. you, know, you don't see them at all. You don't no. care. <laughs> no, not this at all. It seems like you're. Con I didn't. I told you this was not going to be a hard interview, but this is definitely contradicting what you said earlier. I. <laughs> you probably feel it in your soul, heart. I feel it in my heart, but I try to focus on the game. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bring on the assist on that one. Yeah. She Thank came you. up with that corner kick. Kind of Ladies and gentlemen, from the Portland Thorns, Cam Williamson. Yeah.